Hello guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the diffraction MCQs. And the first question is, the bending of light rays round the corners of an obstacle is called interference, diffraction, dispersion, polarization. And we know that it is called diffraction. It is the simple definition of the diffraction. So, the ans answer is option B. The next question is, in a diffraction experiment, the size of obstacle in the path of light should at least be the order of 1 mm, 0.1 mm, 10 to the power minus 4 mm, 1 centimeter. And we know for diffraction, the size of obstacle must be of the order of the wavelength of diffracting wave. And here the diffracting wave is the light wave. And we know that the wavelength of light varies from 10 is from 400 nanometer to 800 nanometer. It means the order of the wavelength of light is 100 nanometer. Means 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So this is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 meter. And we know. 1 meter equal to 1000 mm. So, it becomes 10 to the power minus 7 into 1000 means 10 to the power 3 mm. So, this is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 mm. So, the option C is the right option. And the next question is, Fraunhofer diffraction occurs when the distance between the source and the screen is 100 centimeter, 1000 centimeter, infinity and extremely close. And we know in front of a diffraction, the distance between the source and the screen is infinite, while for the Fresnel, the distance is finite. So, here the option C is the right option. The next question is, how do you obtain plane wave front in front of a diffraction in lab? Using convex lens, mirror, concave lens or plano convex lens. In front of a diffraction, the wave front is plane and the distance between source and screen is infinite. Plane wave front means the wave is coming from the infinite distance. And if we use the convex lens, then it the wave front of the incident wave become plane. So we use the convex lens. The next question is the essential condition for diffraction is that the slit width should be very much greater than wavelength, very much smaller than wavelength, same order as wavelength independent of wavelength. As we discussed before, the slit width should be of the same order of wavelength. So, the option C is the right option. The next question is, what is the grating element? Distance between midpoint of two successive slits, width of an individual slit, distance between end of one slit and beginning of next slit and total number of lines in the grating. And the grating element is the distance between two successive slits, means the distance between midpoint of two successive slits. Means up measure midpoint. So the option A is the right option. And the next question is in the formula n lambda equal to e plus d sin theta, small n is order of the secondary maxima, order of principal maxima, order of minima or number of lines in grating. Here small n is the order of principal maxima. So, option B is the right option. Next question is diffraction angle theta will be greatest for violet, blue, red, yellow. And we know E plus D sin theta equal to n lambda means theta is proportional to lambda and the lambda is greatest for the red color. So, theta will be greatest for red. So, the option C is the right option. Next is, 
what is the effect on the principal maxima due to increasing the number of lines on the gating the principal maxima becomes sharper intense both a and b means sharper and intense or broader and we know that if we increase the number of lines then the principal maxima become sharper and intense so the option c is the right option the next question is when light passes through air into glass its angle of refraction is less than its angle of incidence the same as its angle of incidence can be more or less its than its angle of incidence more than its angle of incidence air is the lighter medium and glass is the denser medium means light is coming from rare medium to denser medium and we know that when light goes from rare medium to denser medium then it bends towards the normal so the angle of refraction is less than the angle of incidence it means the option a is the right option next question is in a single slit deflection the maximum number of principal maxima observed is 1 2 4 0 and for single slit only one principal maxima so the option 1 is the right option the next question is choose the correct theta v is greater than theta r theta v is less than theta r theta v equal to theta r none of these and theta v theta r the angle of diffraction of violet and red colors respectively we know that e plus d sin theta equal to n lambda means theta is directly proportional to lambda and for red light lambda is greater so theta r will be greater it means option b is the right option the next question is calculate the resolving power of a diffraction grating in second order having 2000 lines per inch the length of grating is 2 inch oh this question is from the polarization and we know that the resolving power equal to small n into capital n small n into capital n where capital n is the total number of lines and here 2000 lines per inch and the length of the grating is 2 inch so the total number of lines is 2 into 2000 means 4000 and the order is second order means small n equal to 2 So small n into capital N equal to two into four thousand. It means this is equal to eight thousand. So the resolving power is eight thousand. It means option C is the right option. The next question is according to Snell's law, or we all know sine i upon sine r equal to mu. So the option C is the right option. and the relic criteria of least resolution is applied when the source produces two wavelength and the difference in wavelength is very large the source produces two wavelength and the difference in wavelength is very small the source produces single monochromatic light all of the above okay if there is a large distance between the wavelengths then these waves easily resolved so no need of the relic criteria of least resolution if the source is monochromatic means single wavelength to bhi aapko relic criteria ki zarurat nahi hai it is used when the difference in wavelength is very small so the option b is the right option okay guys thank you